because Morph takes a bit of time to come online. He needs a lot of farm as a hero to actually do something in the game because of that. I mean, Coop is better than Sniper mid, or at least Coop can pressure the Sniper a lot if it's a pure one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh, the tree and pick was meant to deny that, in trouble. they didn't use it. He's actually already used his blink. He's maledicted. This is a kill, and this will be first blood going the way of e -Home. Very oh. much needed. His ER failed his blink. At the same time, it looks like Tree and Protector got caught out in the bottom lane with a sentry wall going down. So, also, But that's also the reason why Lanham is sitting behind in flame for this moment. So the power is in cast. It might be too late though, as in flame. Well, at least there is some revenge damage coming into Luo with that malediction. A little bit more damage in. No, the life nice. striker ray. It bore space for Luo to get back. I don't know if he's going to live through this. So that last no, malediction he pop, he's going to die in the tree line. No so it is a, a one for one trade off, but you got what you wanted. You got this. But DDC yep. is his ultimate. They, that, that's a very good positioning from the Trin Protector. That could be really nice yeah, they for see home. Oh, There's Chuan. The he can get a good time. ulti on Faith as well as uh, Chuan. No, so no big good. stuns, but they get a lot of stuns on the DDC plus the Laguna Blade. The Dark Sea War causes huge amounts of confusion. As uh, now e -Home try and get a little bit more space. They realize the rest of IG is right behind him. Blink Scream. RTK is going to tick out anyway. And Luo starts the body block on in flame. The Morbling will come in. It's a great waveform. In with the Whoa. Death Ward. Lanham doing work from the low ground. He's forcing him away. The uh, extra damage onto Burning. He had the Malediction on him. It's not enough to pop him. But with the waveform down, IG are going to lose four for the price of three of e -Home. Luo is still going to keep running away and they cannot and they do not have enough damage to finish him. Focus what's happening, you just, you can't even click on people, they, that's how bad it is and... Oh, actually they want to, what yeah, is this? Yeah, I, I don't think they turn. really want to, they're trying to bait the blink up, the fan strike up. Now the Darkseer also on his way in with that ulti yeah, surge, RTK puts the Iron Shell on DDC with the Vank back in again. Burning is forced to stand his ground and fight very much against his will. And there's smoke mid at the same time, Sniper is in trouble. No, they're not going for it. They're, they're actually the going doctor. for the Witch Doctor. The Sniper was That's close. Nice. Lanham will still die here. Uh, Zara TK, where are they going to head to next? Inflame oh, realizes he's being chased. He's up on the high ground. The Shrapnel gave him just enough movement speed, but he's far enough away they Why cannot catch him before he's back behind the tier 2 tower. Should but because off. they've come in so far, RTK, well, Living Armor's going to help him. Neg Charge, he's got 8 Stick Charges also up his sleeve. Make that 10 now. Unable to trigger them in time, but he bought time for Inflame to beat into Luo. There's enough damage to kill him before the end of the TP. So ends up being a yep. 3 for 2 trade off in total, that's including the PA kill up on top lane. Oh, Wobbly's gonna to arrive as well. We're gonna see if I... Oh, there's your jump oh, in, the call. Right. DDC's the first one to get caught out. It was the that's Observer and Sentry combo that was able to see him. Chuan, okay, there is a 4 staff there to get him away Good to safety. Staff. Good first step by the Axe. It's a 3 kill, but he's gonna come back soon. They have Glyph. That's not a tower yet. Uh, actually, they might not have time for this. 25 seconds. Lewis They're gonna decide jump. if they wanna fight now or not. He's looking at Morphling okay. already. Yeah, There's that Orca there. coming out from Ferrari nice. with the Sonic Wave. The Dark Sea Wall is up. RTK trying to get himself in there in time to let the mech and help out his teammate. In Flame, at least has a lot of space here. In fact, ho oh, oh, ho! Okay, space! Space removed! Bird is gonna try and TP himself out. This he's taking the damage from the tower, but the malediction isn't enough to kill him as well. And that coup de grace, it couldn't have come at a better time against the sniper. Yeah, and I mean... I, I really think... Monkey King Bar. Uh, and once it's got a BKB, then something like Yule Sept is not going to be effective. So we ended up going for this Abyssal Blade build on the sniper. It's a very good idea in late game, and now they're going for Roche, they want to defend it. You can have a defensive force staff on your supports, or you need a BKB on the sniper. That's what you need. They're going for Roche, and they might get it. I, actually, uh, I don't think they will. Oh, Ferrari, he's super low. He's e going to jump. Ehem's going to go now. RTK is going to be held up. There's already the jump out by Lua that's controlled him there with the Sonic Wave, but a lot of the damage has been dealt but repaired by the mech. RTK is going to surge himself out, burning low on life. Lamb just let him the ulti, rip and burning. There goes your Aegis Immortal already. That Death yes, Ward is still going to go down, but it's not going to last long enough to hit burning as he came back to the world of the living. Lanham does have a paralyzing cast, but you'll get off burning. Who's going to be in range of that one? Faith will be, as well as the neutrals on the side, which will come out and deal their own little damage over. Luo again trying to be the space creator with a jump in. He's able to get the Culling Blade off. So say goodbye to that Wish Doctor. Now RTK, not a healthy man, had both the mech as well as the uh, side that buys still on cooldown. But in flame, he's nice. had the big opening until the four stop in for the call. There's Burning's crit. He needs to go through the rest of them. He's going to as well. The Living Armor try and protect him. And in this for DDC, it will be nature's guys to protect both ZYF as well as DDC. So Burning is incapable of finding himself another pickoff.
What a play by Luo. What a player. It, that, that was super nice. Like, he was getting chased and then he... In half a second, he actually turned and forced Afton to get a super call and then uh, Burning could get a lot of damage on them. So, a really, really nice play by him. If you and actually... Then, if, if, who he's trying to focus on? Who get a pistol bladed, for example? Like, is that really gonna work when especially Luo... Oh, man! Oh, oh Decisions regretted. He's gonna get ki killed by himself. It was the Darkseer illusion with the tree ulti into a vac. Chuan and Burning, they were getting control until a good line strike array, RTK gets the mech off, needs a light pointer, look at him flame, he's ripping through Burning's HP, and now Burning Effect is going to get swapped in and Blink on the way in, That's okay well that didn't really work the way they planned, three players lost for the price of zero for E-Home, and this will mean they lose their tier 2 tower in the bottom lane as well. Gonna cost them probably a tier 3 tower, he has buyback, but he doesn't yeah. want to use it until oh, the axe comes back. Yeah, they're, they're, I don't think even after the axe comes back, you really want to use it. Re rely on your teammates. Even if you've got to commit a if Sonic Wave, now they will yeah. with a three man call. Lanimous forced a fight here, but Ferrari, oh God, he Ferrari. got completely nuked up. They have to cancel the assassination. No, he oh doesn't. Boy. It was perfectly timed at the end of the Yule Scepter to connect an Inflame trying to outrun Burning here. Luo, he's managed to at least hold up Lanham as well as DDC, but he couldn't catch up to Inflame. And now he's caught on the low ground. Luo is not in a healthy position. There is at least no way out for that for that Morphling, so he will die to the Sonic Wave of Ferrari 4 3 -0. The jump up, the paralyzing cast. It actually stopped Luo from going for the Culling Blade. That's uh, Well, okay, Burning will finish the job. Wish Doctor will drop. But they did take out the tier 3 tower, and they're going to back up losing the Morphling as well as the Witch Doctor. I still say for Ehome that's fine, because they didn't lose Inflame. Yeah, it is fine. They forced the buyback. Oh, actually, do they see that Shrin Protector or what? Yeah, they see him. Okay, that's the third kill. It's still okay. It's not that bad. I mean, if they could get Throosh right now, and you can see Burning is already checking, that would be a good fight, right? But uh, now the pressure is on Ehome, uh, on, on IG, I mean, because they don't have buyback on that PA. So whenever he dies, then he needs to be really careful with his place because if while oh Ehome DDC sitting on the tree line, he's gonna break the smoke of IG as they come in close. The sentry ward down, and they can That's see DDC nice on the hill. They come in to check out Roshan, and DDC, there's your jump. He's gonna die so quickly. The assassination to go to Luo is really realizing now there's more players up here. Where can they catch him? The Queen of Pains up and towards the air is burning. He just wants RTK on the sidelines. The Dark Seal has got his wall down, but that was basically it. While Lanham, his positioning is beautiful, but the VS swaps into the sun, cancelling off that death wall, burning so low on life. They're going to have to strike down. It's currently tip for tap, three for three. Faith running north, as well as Ferrari running south, but they're hot on the tail of Faith. He's got the urn charge on him. The adapter strike from Morphling will finish the job and will end up being a 4 for 3 trade off in favor of Ehome. And they get a hell of a lot for that one as well. That was almost 2.5k worth of expended before. Morphling, and they have a DD. Morphling pushes, they leave the replicate with them. <laughs> really, and that DD you're saying <laughs> on the sniper. And it's a full Academ Scepter on Lanham. I also want to flag that one before the fight, fight's going to begin. I want to see his position because it's about to start. Ferrari, very far up. RTK gets a hex on him, burning. Where's that jump in oh the crit? Oh my, 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 my. We're stopped us with a death ward. That's not going to do anything. And Ehome instantly regret decision. The paralyzing cast won't bounce for Lanham. So he is practically toast as well. Burning just cleaved him apart, and they catch the sniper. It's a disaster for Ehome. BKB or no BKB, Inflame will not be able to buy this. Where's the bash? It's still going to be there. It's a triple kill for Burning, and oh, oh my God! A premature GGulation coming in <laughs> for uh, Ehome. IG. Whoa! So they can't actually back off. They're the looking to fight. Stuff. There's your swap. No. RTK oh getting caught God. again with a stun from Faith. The Paralyzing Castle come out, Darkseer has to buy back. The Crimson Guard's already been triggered, but with the Darkseer buying back, the Morphling respawn, there is potential here for Ehome to fight, but with RTK getting chain stunned, there's your jump up with the Replicant. They need to stop this Axe from getting out of here. Chorn will die, Axe will not. So they lose both the Lena as well as the Vengeful Spirit. The gem was dropped in mid, but in return, you took a tier three tower up on the top and you brought down the mid racks. Ehome. With the two point, actually, both these guys don't have buybacks. They've got a 46 second window right now. Where? Yeah, was yeah it's a good, it's a good plan. They can just throw on them. Really nice. Well played. Well, wouldn't take. Now they long. need to TP home. They don't have TP on the dogs here. So where's the others? Where the other TPs? They're coming That's as correct. quick as they possibly can. And there's your jump call already on the morphing. They're triggered Lincoln Spear, which means the jumping can't come from burning. There's a good tree ulti, but they've already got the kill over on that morphling. He'll have to buy himself back into the fight. The Dark Sea was causing a large amount of problems because they're also going to copy a burning who's right, going to get dumped by the E Blade attack. He has buyback available. Faith has no chance of surviving this one. 
with no four yeah. staff up, he couldn't reach it. He couldn't get far, fast enough away. And the that rest of IG is still on the run. RTK is sticking with him. But he's blink daggers yeah. on cooldown for four, for five more seconds, and he won't catch up to Chorn in time. Yeah, but top lane is pushing in. I think it's really risky to go Roche right now. It almost feels they don't like have a bait. Wall yet. Like, it, yeah, it doesn't I... feel real. They shouldn't go. Yeah, they need. To... They need to be careful right now because IG definitely has. They have a good way to go out. Oh, oh he's he abyssal. Used abyssal. Oh my god, and the BKB. Uh, now they're gonna jump with the with the abyssal blade down. Ferrari's gonna die so quickly. The call might be there, but the death ward from Lana. A great position and no way to contest it. Luo nice four stopped four up onto the high ground, but Chuan he's gonna sacrifice himself. Ferrari bought back to be part of this one, but Chuan is dead to the world. Burning went Luo further east, and who's coming so in from well. behind? Ferrari, what are you doing there, man? Like Lua he is amazing. himself in, but look at the tier 4 towers in the meantime. Yeah. Because the top lane's pushed in so far, EO is been, which means Roshan belongs to IG. But they yeah, don't want to give it up. They're coming back in again. There's your Hex. RTK hexed up. Luo getting beaten down. Ferrari careful with those HP. He's got still that E-Blade available. So your Axe will drop. Morphling waveforms down. He's sticking with Burning. Who's going to Phantom Strike himself over to Faith. There is a replica so he can jump back up. RTK sticking with him. Now the Abyssal Blade wants to kill. Where's your crit? Where is your crit? He's going to get E-Bladed. RTK survives. And now you've no got Burning way. down for two minutes. They may be two Raxes down E-Home. But they have a two minute window of opportunity. Where only VS has a buy back available. They should have They're I coming for the tier fours. Yeah, I don't and see IG doing this. They have fortification available, IG. 30 seconds for the axe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's gonna Laguna be Laguna so upgrade or no Laguna upgrade. I don't think uh, Chuan's gonna do much. And Ferrari, he's attacking into the fortress. He's trying to keep in Flame's attention back and force he Ehome to TP away, but it's not gonna happen. The Chuan, he's just gonna get evaporated down. Maybe not with the four star, oh, he's saved back. Almost bringing him in as the swap on top of Ari TK. Yeah. He's gonna be killed off by the fountain with Laguna Blade into the death ward nice from Lanham. And well, you'll have to dust stop that, but the DDC, he's got his control over an IG, but the game is GG. Yeah. That'll be it. It'll be E home to push through, taking out the fortress. After what was quite an entertaining game with team fights going back and forward. Great game. Really nice game. A lot of action. A lot of big plays. Uh, honestly, Luo has to be the MVP of that game. I mean, on IG's side, he played exceptionally well. Great.